Hello, my name's Hilary Eden and I'm a pharmacist with over 20 years experience working for the NHS in the UK. Welcome to Hills Pills. In these videos, I'm going to provide you with some useful information about medicines that have been prescribed for you by your doctor. In this video, I'm going to talk about Zopiclone tablets, which come in two strengths, either 7.5 milligrams or 3.75 milligrams. So whichever strength you're taking, this video is applicable to you. Zopiclone is a hypnotic and it works on your brain to help you to sleep. So Zopiclone can be used to treat all sorts of sleep disorders, whether you have problems falling asleep initially, whether you wake up in the middle of the night, whether you wake up too early or any other common sleep problems. Zopiclone is designed to help you sleep and get back into a normal sleep pattern and therefore should only be used in the short term and definitely not every day or for long periods of time. You shouldn't take Zopiclone tablets if you know you're allergic to them. If you have muscle weakness or a condition called myasthenia gravis, if you have respiratory problems or respiratory failure, if you suffer from a condition called sleep apnea, where you sometimes stop breathing in the night, or if you have liver problems. You should also take Zopiclone with caution and talk to your doctor about it if you're suffering from depression or any other mental illness, if you have any kind of liver, kidney or breathing problems, if you drink alcohol or take other drugs, if you're lactose intolerant or have a wheat allergy, if you're taking opioid painkillers, or if you've taken Zopiclone or a similar pain, uh, sleeping tablets in the past for more than four weeks. In all of these cases, you should discuss carefully with your doctor before you start taking Zopiclone. Taking Zopiclone is quite easy. As I said, it's always a short course, usually between two days up to at the most really three weeks and an absolute maximum of four weeks treatment. You take your tablet last thing at night usually 7.5 milligrams at night, and then for the elderly or those with liver or kidney problems, the dose is reduced to 3.75 milligrams at night. You should take it with some water, swallow the tablet whole, don't crush it or chew it, and take it last thing at night at bedtime before you go to bed. You should only take one dose each night, don't take a second one later on, don't double up, and don't take it during the day or at a time when you know you've got less than seven or eight hours time to have some uninterrupted sleep. If you or someone you know has taken too many Zopiclone tablets, you should seek medical attention immediately as it can lead to sleepiness, confusion, and even difficulty breathing. Also, don't stop taking your Zopiclone suddenly if you've been taking it for more than a couple of days you should wean yourself off it slowly over time and your doctor will advise you how to do this. If you stop taking Zopiclone suddenly, you can get some very unpleasant withdrawal effects and also your sleep problems will come back and maybe even worse. The common side effects of Zopiclone, well, you can get a, a metallic taste in your mouth or a dry mouth. You can sometimes get nausea and vomiting and there have been reports of people taking Zopiclone who sleepwalk. Also, like all medicines, you can have an allergic reaction to Zopiclone. So if you get a sudden onset of shortness of breath, swelling of the mouth, face, lips or eyes, or develop a skin rash, that may be the sign of an allergic reaction and you should go back to your doctor. Zopiclone interacts with quite a lot of other medicines and can increase the potency of some other drugs. So if you are being prescribed other medicines or buying medicines over the counter from your pharmacist, always let them know that you're taking Zopiclone and they can check there are no interactions. You shouldn't drive while you're taking Zopiclone or within 12 hours of taking it, especially if you feel drowsy, sleepy or tired. And you shouldn't drink alcohol with Zopiclone as that can make you very sleepy. There's one last thing I need to tell you about Zopiclone, and that's if you're having blood tests, you need to let the doctor know that you're taking Zopiclone, as it can affect the results of some blood tests, especially those for liver function. 
I hope this information has been helpful. If you need more detailed information about Zopiclone, please see the patient information leaflet that came with the medicines when they were dispensed by your pharmacist. If you don't have a copy of this leaflet or you need another one, you can download it from www.medicines.org.uk. If you're taking other medicines, you might want to see my other videos. These are either available on YouTube or please visit my website www.hillspills.com. Thanks very much.